Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over some of the conditions here. When you, what you're looking at here is actually the screen that has the uh, setup that's ready. It says ready right there. That means it's ready to actually cut. But how do we set the force of the blade and so forth? Well, we're going to press condition on the uh, controller here, the uh, control panel. and that sends us to uh, a set of three menus. The first one includes the uh, name of the condition. There are eight different conditions you can set uh, for two different users, so that makes 16 different conditions. So we've got indoor vinyl number one. That's the name that we're going to use for this uh, condition. Number two is the tool. I'm going to click on that and you'll see it allows me to set the different tools there. I'm using a uh, CB09U, which is what comes with it but there are other tools that you can set as well for different kinds of materials. So you just scroll through using the up and down arrow here to get you know the kind of tool that you want. Okay, good deal. Alright, right, left arrow there to cancel that. We're going to go back. The, the speed is number three, so we're going to choose that one. And again, this is how you can set uh, how fast you want your cutter to cut. Now, keep in mind, a lot of these settings actually are, uh, can be set from the software that you're using as well. But uh, we can actually set them here on the hardware where if we want to be uh, certain of that. Okay, I'm going to hit number four here to cancel that. Uh, force, there we go, number four. So here's where we can actually set the down force of the cutting blade. And I, mine's up fairly high. It probably should be lower than that uh, depending on the blade depth and so forth and the kind of media I'm using. But that seems to work good for my particular machine here and the vinyl that I'm using. So uh, I'm going to leave it there. That's that's what I chose to do. But you can change that. Just use your up and down arrow to uh, to change that just like it describes there. Alright, let's go to menu number two. Menu number two, overcut. I want to talk about this one. You can literally set the knife blade to cut past its original location. Now this is a great setting. It allows you to cut letters and make sure that there's no little nibs left over. You know, when you weed and you pull that uh, vinyl off, sometimes it leaves a little bit of um, uh, vinyl left. It's because of the angle of the blade. If your offset's not set correctly, uh, it could leave a little extra. So you might want to change this uh, and make it go up or down a little bit. It's, a, it's really a good, good thing to do. It tells you, uh, allows you to reset this. I would set it maybe to uh, uh, no more than uh, five hundredths of an inch or maybe a a tenth of an inch at the most uh, would be more than enough uh, in most cases. All right, we'll cancel that. Next, we're going to talk about the uh, uh, distance adjust. There's uh, initial downforce, blade adjust. We kind of went through that when we were setting our blade up. All of those uh, are uh, something that we probably wouldn't use as much. Normally, the four blade adjust we're going to use quite a bit, but we've gone through that uh, in another example, so you might want to go to that, right? Okay, let's go back to page two here. There's one and there's two and uh, you notice there we've got we can go right through all these pages. Here's page two. Uh, acceleration uh, number one. That's basically how fast the vinyl moves when the pen is up. So it controls that. Uh, you, you know sometimes heavier material might need to move slower. Uh, the light material if it moves too fast sometimes that can cause skewing. Uh, so set this according to what you feel like. I've actually moved mine down a little bit. I chose number one here, uh, and you can you can go pretty fast where it really runs super fast. But um, I've set my acceleration down to four because I feel like that's the best setting for my uh, conditions here. So we'll, that's what I'll leave it on. Number four to cancel. Uh, cut line pattern. We'll use that in uh, uh, when we're doing uh, perf cuts and so forth. Uh, assign tool again. Number three. Uh, this is where you can assign a particular tool to this device. That's uh, something that we don't need to worry about right now. So I'm going to cancel that. And then here's a really important one, tangent emulation. This is fantastic. See, normally the knife blade turns as it's cutting in the vinyl. In other words, it stays in the vinyl uh, down. Let's say that it's going to cut a square. Uh, the vinyl would go, uh, you know, one direction and then uh, the vinyl moves and the blade just sort of rotates in the actual blade holder. But some, uh, some, some medias like uh, window tint, uh, maybe even reflective media from time to time, um, 
uh, it requires that it be cut in one direction, uh, paint protection film and so forth. So when you hit uh, 4 for tangent, what it allows you to do is use the media and set the blade so it only cuts in one direction, either pushing or pulling. And that is going to really assist you in making sure that you get uh, you don't have any problems with the media jamming or uh, and so forth. It's a great feature to use uh, uh, occasionally when you have medias that are very difficult to cut, uh, especially very thin medias or actually very thick medias. So we're going to click cancel on that. I, I just have normal vinyl in here, but that's where you're going to set it. So these are the settings that you're going to find along with the test cuts as you can see here. Uh, for condition. When you're done setting your conditions, just hit the condition button again and you're back and ready and you're ready to use your system. So you probably want to go through a few of these conditions. I, I would spend just a bit of time uh, looking at your uh, manual to, to study a few of the conditions, but the main ones that we're going to use uh, when we set it up for vinyl is we're going to uh, set up my condition here. I'm just going to press condition usually and uh, we're probably going to set the speed, which is number three there, uh, the tool type, which is normally the CB09U, uh, uh, and the force. Those are the most common ones. Uh, then we would also set, let's go to number two here, uh, tangent emulation when needed, and uh, finally the blade adjust or overcut. Those are the ones we would commonly use. So. Um, uh, practice those a little bit. You, they all do uh, certain things to make sure that you get the highest quality cutting from your GraphTech device.